we want to create a terrain for our tutorial series. So right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a Perlin noise filter, and uh, I'm not really sure what all this is, but let's let's give it a go. All right, that came out pretty nice. With the Perlin noise, I got a rather nice looking body of uh, water and land. I don't think I, I want to do much to this uh, to break it, but for safety I'm going to save it and I'll try something else. We'll see how it goes when I add another set of things here. Um, let's just go way up on things here and see how it goes. Well, as you can see, oh, I'm not sure <laughs> how realistic this is, but it wasn't what I expected. But I, I'll keep it for for this tutorial series. Um, so let's jump over to the edit mode and we'll discuss the different brushes. You have the height, flatten, smooth, and texture, and three brushes. The height tool or brush simply makes the land higher as you can see here um, t I'm just gonna explain this to you here as well you have in all these brushes you have this size parameter which is basically how large the brush is and you have a setting for strength which is how much is happening when you click or the amount of time from your click to until you see something happen if you like it's kind of a paintbrush like in Photoshop the more you paint the uh, the more opaque things are so if I bring the strength down again you can see to make this kind of mountain will take a little bit more time and you have finer control over what you're doing so that's the height brush which simply rises the earth or terrain if you like. Next is the flatten tool. This tool is used to force terrain into a given height and it's also used to make bodies of water or rivers and such because it's the only tool that can pull terrain down. So let's see if I want to make yeah let's see here Right now it's a bit narrow as you can see. I'm using the flatten tool and a uh, given brush. I like the soft brush. And the size is probably okay. And I'm gonna have some control of uh, the strength. And the target is essentially the height. So a negative value will force the land to go below sea level a positive value will raise the terrain above sea level. So this brush will force the land to go to this level and flatten it like this. You can barely see it here under the uh, the water surface that it's flattened out. Let's try the opposite and force some terrain to a given level above sea level. I click and hold and drag the mouse and it flattens out. This is perfectly flat. If I add a little bit more to this value, you see it will make a plateau where this level is met. Now let's try the smooth brush to get rid of these hard edges next up is texture down here you have these swatches dirt, grass, mud and rough grass like any other brush tool here you have size and strength and you have the target again here but it's only in positive values 
I, I want to talk a little bit about how that works first. Basically, the size is just like in any other of the brushes. The brush size changes, right? And the strength is just like in the other brushes, how fast the tool reaches the goal. Let's select the dirt brush and set the target to 1, which is 100%. Strength to 1. The brush will instantly paint this area with the maximum value. If I set the strength to 25 or something, it will take a longer time to reach the target. Even down to 1. You can see barely something happening here now. And I gotta use a lot of time to add any opacity. But you get smoother transitions that way. So it's kind of paint brushing in Photoshop, uh, Lightroom, Apache, or whatever. Okay, so let's jump over to the trees. You have different kind of trees. The size of the brush can be adjusted and new to this brush is the density which is how many trees are planted or painted into the terrain when you click and drag. And as you can see the slower you paint the denser it will be. So if you paint rather quick it will make the, the trees scatter out like this. I've painted fairly dense and randomly all over the place and the game engine is incredibly quick. I, I'm really amazed by this. I, I don't know how many thousand trees I have here. It's, it's basically tons and wow the game engine isn't slowing down at all.